Hello world, it's it's I guess this time of year where we, ch we show you some progress stuff that we've done. Uh, probably this stuff should be done as well at the end of the season, which I will always forget to do, so I'm sorry. But, I think last year I did it roughly the same time. I don't know, tell me if you guys remember it, but I'm not sure. And we we'll just look at the progress and see how our players developed over time. I guess from the start of, this is over 12 months. So since last time I assume we checked, this is how they changed. And it's funny because this guy improved the most, but you can see he had a huge dip. So I don't know what that means. Uh, that was Spillane, by the way, in case you're wondering. Igor Vera, constant increase. Makes sense. Like This is the guy that I couldn't sell to uh, Atletico Madrid because it was like Name. And I was right. Look at that. 16 dribbling, 14 assists, 13 passing. 17. Like, this guy's amazing. And I'm pretty sure he's going to start. Yeah, look at that. Wow. He's already better than Darcy, which is, I thought, something I would never say, especially at this level. Then Lewis is impressing me, actually, because I remember getting him and I was like, well, he'll never become anything. And now he's... Pretty decent, so if I can steal him... No, I can't. His contract runs out in two years. It would be nice. Right, who else? Eddie Brown has been improving as well. Eh, he's injured though. Sonny Graham, Billy Gilmore, Mr. Darcy kind of has an up. It, it's just strange to me. Like, I, I assume like this player, like Spillane made the most improvements because he's first. But like, all these look like a proper increase. Maybe he just went crap, 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 boom, shoot, you know? I don't know. But anyways... Uh, ooh, someone's interested in Coopers. Oh, loan. Okay, I was like, big teams? Mm, money. What about Moreno? Okay, Novara. So it's fine. So let's update you on what happened. Uh, you were here for the Blackburn game, and it didn't set us into a good mood, I guess. So I think since Middlesbrough, we just lost. Well, we didn't win for four games straight. And this one was very annoying, because you can see here, we won 2-0. We we're winning 2-0, and I was playing Mario Kart with my girlfriend at the same time. So, I put 2 I was like, ah, oh, well, you know, make my subs, 2-0, finish the game in Mario Kart. So, I click play, look down, this guy scored 3 goals, so he wasn't even, like, he didn't exist, like, he was on the pitch, but he did nothing. And then suddenly, the second I looked away, he's like, oh, it's my time to shine. It's like, okay, sure. So, yeah, this was a disappointing collapse. And it made me worried, because we had a disappointing collapse here. So, we went 2-0 up, and the second, I guess the second, well, end of the first half, I swear it was the second half. Okay, so we might have gone into one into this. And then we got a penalty. So, 2-2, two, two, and I was like, shit. That's it, we're going to lose from this one. And no, Eddie Brown scores in the 92nd minute. I was like, oh man. And from then on, we were better in terms of, like, we beat we beat Barnsley. Kind of rotated, we got Moreno playing a bit more. Alex Blanco finally scoring goals, which is, uh, yeah, it's his first goal for the team, which is impressive. Blackburn. Spillane, oh my god, what a man. I love Spillane. Spillane has been playing really good for me. And hopefully, like, he will play good for the rest of the save. I don't know how good he'll be in the end. Like, currently, currently he's predicted to be 5 star, but I don't know if my... Yeah, look at that. 7, seven judging potential, and they say he's good enough for the Premier League? I don't know if I trust that. But, you know, currently I'm enjoying his pace and stuff. And he scored again. And look who came back. Finally from injury, Ali Crawford having a... I think it was a man of the match performance as well. No, almost. So Companion got that. But 8.1 on his return, I think. If you look down, that looks like... It, no, it wasn't. Yeah, but even then, 7.9 against uh, when he came back. And then here... Yeah, so it looks like the two games he's played, he got like 8 average. Which is strange, because this is a guy... This is a guy just always, for some reason for me, gets discounted. And I've seen some Bolton saves. Like, he gets sold straight away because of money. Like, But he's kind of... He doesn't want to quit. Like... He's 30 years old now, and the fans really like this player, and every time he's just like, well, he's just below, you know, the elite level of where we are. And I say elite, but we're in the championship. But every time he's like, you know what, I don't want to give up, and then he does amazing. So that makes me actually start to think, because I have three players for that position. I have Darcy, I have Vera, so that's why I'm kind of training him on the left as well. Uh, yeah, with Darcy, I've got Vera, and I've got Crawford. So I think I'm going to take him off. He, oh, he was in the reserves because, um, you know, because he needs some match fitness. So, next game he should play. I think now I'm going to have to make a decision between Darcy and Vera. And with that run of form, I think he's going to start. Um, the game decides that Chalaba is no longer a halfback, which is stupid. But I think the game is trying to force me to play um, Gujman and Gilmore at the same time. Which, to be fair, could be nice. But, like, the one time we played them together, it was not good. So, I think we're ready. Um, Spillane. Remember, Bukhari has not been playing well, but Spillane has... Yeah, I like this team. So we've got Matthews, Lewis, Brian, Simonovic, Bree. Kind of a settled back four. Um, you know, I, I, I'm still, I'm still, I still don't trust Emmanuel, which is a shame. Chalban, Goodman, then Blanco, Darcy, Spillane, and Campania up front, as always. 
this man is um, well playing really well, and I've actually talked to his to, to his uh, national team manager. And I'm like, bro, pick him. Like, why isn't he getting picked? And he's like, oh, I know how he's playing well. And I'm like, so why isn't he playing for your team? I think he's from Venezuela. So who is who plays for Venezuela up front? Because the second I said that, I can think of someone, but I can't think of who. And the game decides to take forever, so I guess I'll get to you when um, when it's loaded up. Hello, so we are back. That did not take half an hour. <laughs> it took more like 10 minutes, but still. So let's quickly go check. Oh no, sorry. He's from Ecuador. I, that still makes me think of someone. Oh my god, this game's gonna take forever and it's gonna kill me. Okay, so enter Valencia. Who played up front? Is it was it like I don't remember honestly. Well, Valencia is from Ecuador. Who is their strikers? Um, Enner Valencia is the one I recognize. Uh, don't recognize anyone else, so I don't know why he's not getting picked. Huh? All right, cool. Right. Well, it doesn't matter. Maybe if he keeps scoring and if he gets into the Premier League with me, maybe they'll notice him. But hey, so today we're playing against Swansea, and I don't know if you guys noticed our decent run of form actually leaves us in first place. I have no idea how I managed to climb up there. But I'm going to try and stay up there because I know that there will be a time where I go from, you know, a great form to like complete crap losing every single game because it's happened for the past two seasons. And I don't know, I think at some point I get cocky and I'm like, oh, yeah, let's we're playing against Middlesbrough. Let me rotate and put player under 18, you know, it's a bit stupid. But, you know, I don't tend to. Is that the Chelsea guy? Yeah, it is a Chelsea guy. Huh. It's actually funny, I only know about him because of Work the Space, when he signed him for a Tao Law. I had no idea, like, I'm a Chelsea fan, I had no idea this guy existed. So, did he just, just get killed there? Hmm. I think he just got killed there. Right, so, like I said before, Swansea is a team I played in the Football Manager, that's a lie, in um, FIFA, ages ago, and it was nice. I had, <laughs> the first signing was Matuidi, and he helped me get promoted, and then... Uh, we didn't yeah we used a lot of uh what's it called well the first we had a little cash injection so we bought that obvious because i thought it'd be an important thing to do have a little cash injection so we got matweedy and we got delete three four years ago when delete was still available which was funny he was like 30 million or like 25 million i think it was something stupid yeah but yeah that's another thing like at least with this game you can appreciate that like a lot of these players like if you have a good youngster He'll go for a lot of money. So, like, every time I play FIFA, it's like you're basically guaranteed Mbappe in your second season because his contract runs out and you sign him for, like, whoever you were. Like, if you have the money, you can be literally a League 2 team and then still do it. And it's halftime 0-0. Zero, zero. Sorry, I'm just starting to rant against FIFA. Like, I've really been disappointed with it this year. Like, I played, I almost want to say religiously for the first four months. And then since then, just really dropped off because instead of it being like there was a, there's a bit there's a period where like grinding for something and like you're losing and you're like you know what i can do this and then sometimes it was just so random like one day i just go in and i'm like wow i'm the best player literally the next day I'd be, I'd be losing every game and i'm like why is this so i'm pretty sure from last year i was in like division two and this year i'm like in nine like this is not on fun anymore i lose against any team and it really pisses me off like it's not a nice thing like Ooh, good save of Matthews, but it's not a good thing. Like, you don't... They designed the game so crappily, and there's so many cards, and I just don't care. And it's just funny, because, like, I haven't played for, like, what, five, six months? And I was like, dude, I'm just I'm just one... Ooh, ooh, it was close. I'm just one, like, good promo away, you know, from returning to the game and playing, and nothing has hit me. Like, I did some SBCs just on my phone, because, like, for fun, because I was like, oh, you know, I might return. So I did the... Aspilicueta one, I did the Marcus Alonso one, because Chelsea fan, you know? Obviously, makes sense. But nothing's pulled me back in, and it, it, it just shows how shit this game is, you know? And I'm just sad, like, for people like, you know, Zwebeck, you know? Because he's he's got his, um, where is my, oh my god, where is, um, oh shit, did I not put Coopers on the bench? God damn it. Uh, Sonny will go on. Yeah, I feel bad for Zwebeck, because, like, for him, this is his, um, well, it's the way he makes money. It's the content. Like, I watch him because I, I really like him as a person. But, like, man, if FIFA's going to go down the drain, he's going to have to adapt. And to be fair, he probably will be easily because he's, I mean, you don't watch his FIFA stuff for FIFA stuff. I mean, you may do, but, like, you just watch it for his personality. So he'll be fine. But a lot of these people, like, even, like, the pro players are just like, dude, what the hell is this? 
Like seriously, like if next year is going to be a crap game, after that, I think that's it. FIFA's dead. And it doesn't help that, uh, hey, hey, zero, zero. Again, another one when I go for a rant and uh, nothing happens. Uh, no, let's not shout. Like it's too late. I should have shouted at halftime. But to be fair, zero, zero against 1C, it's okay. Like 1C is a big team. And yeah, so I was saying like, even today, or was it yesterday, last night, they had a whole thing about, oh, you know, like you should pre-order FIFA. I was like, oh, cool. So what do you have with it? Like, obviously you'll have the pack, you'll have some cards, whatever. And there's one thing, which is like, oh, you will have a homegrown local talent. And I'm like, wait, didn't we have that before? Which is, isn't it just basically Future Star? So instead of using the coins in game that you play after a while, you can get that for free at the start. So it makes me think, since that's a big selling point, that you will not have that in the career next year. And I'm just like, wait, so you're using this thing that's already in the game to be like, guys, 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 it's a brand new, brand new shit, you know, like, please buy our game. It's like, what are you doing? You were literally, like, anything, like, they could have just, like, because, you know, when the Champions League came out, and I still, I'm really annoyed because I still didn't get the card, but when the Champions League came out, you could pick, what was it, one card out of five. And it was a decent card, I think, like, well, decent for the time, like, obviously, by the end of FIFA, it was just like, well, it's a 82, 83 rated. And last year, you could, if you pre-order, you can get a one to watch. You could pick one. And I was like, okay, cool. But so far this year, it's just like, oh, you got a youth player that you could do before. It's like, I'm a genius at ar targeting, advertising. I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm just really disappointed by FIFA. And at least with Football Manager, like, people complain about it sometimes. But on average, the game works, you know? Like, the game just works. Just works. You might want more features, but it's a beautiful game. It's well thought out. It's not just, like, stupid. I don't know. I'm just so fed up with FIFA. And I'm fed up with not being placed anymore. First place anymore. Shame. Right. So, that was a big rant. Hopefully, the video is not too long and too ranty. I might need to tone it down because I am starting to be really annoyed. <laughs> but, yeah. So here we put two friendlies just to make some money, Dundee and United. So I'm thinking, um, how are Huddersfield? Who is second? West Brom. Yep, cool, easy. So currently we're tied for first place with West Brom. Ooh, Southampton's there as well. Ah, uh, you know what? I'll see you for the West Brom game. It makes more sense. I think like they're currently up there. And you know, it's a big game. It's a big interesting game. Did they get relegated last year? Or did they even get promoted? Yeah, so last year they got promoted. No, two years ago they got promoted. And at the end of last year they got demoted. So fair. Right, so I'll see you in the next game against West Brom. Please ask any questions, like if you want me to show something, because I feel like I'm starting to run out of ideas to show, I guess. Sometimes, like, nothing much happens, you know, and then you don't know what to talk about, so I just make up conversation. So I hope you kind of like this more conversation-y style that I'm doing. But anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you really enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye, guys!